Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm excited for this one. So for the past few weeks, I've been skating on this uh, real skateboard. Uh, I believe it's a Mason Silva board. It's an 838 and it's the full SE. So basically what that means is that it's the short edition um, and they're referring to uh, the wheelbase. So in this case, it is a 14.38 wheelbase. Uh, to call it short, I'm not sure about that. To be honest, I think to me like a short wheelbase is like 14, maybe like 14 and a quarter. Uh, so to call 14.38 short, it's a little odd for me, but I don't know, who knows? Maybe today's standards, uh, that is short. So you know that feeling when you step on a board and you know right away, this is your skateboard? This is how I felt when I stepped on this board. Literally every trick was coming first try. It just felt comfortable and like really good under my feet. And thankfully, I have a second one. So today I'll be setting this guy up right here. It's exactly the same dimensions, except it is an Ashad Ware skateboard, which is awesome because Ashad Ware is dope. One of my favorite skaters for sure. But yeah, let's get into this board a little bit and why uh, I really wanted to talk about it in this video. So I really love what Deluxe and Real are doing with their packaging. Um, first off, like if we look here, it shows full SE, which is short edition. 8.38 it tells you the length of the board 32.18 large or length rather 14.38 wheelbase and it tells you like a bit of a description here which is cool holds full deck width longer from nose to tail for full board control so basically full means it doesn't taper uh after the trucks to like be a skinnier nose it's kind of more of a full 838 throughout the whole board which is a really cool feeling and it also says here uh, SE uh, shorter wheelbase for quick feel. Um, so I really like that like Deluxe is showing that there. And it also has this piece of paper here too, which is really cool, real construction, the original, not too steep, not too mellow, guaranteed to last. Yeah, it's just the little things like this that make like the experience of getting a board that much better. It's just like the little touches, uh, even this here, it's cool. Making decks that help skaters follow their own path is the heart of real since day one have fun out there and keep pushing and uh i like this note too and i mean most skaters stick by that but done for you might not be done for someone else if this board is still skatable and you're finished with it please pass it along to someone who could use it i love that it's just like a nice little touch you know so what else comes on this board so we have that plastic with all the sizing which is cool it comes with a sticker here most skaters like stickers. I like to stick them on random things in my house. Another really cool feature about this board, which I found on the previous one as well, is that the two top plies kind of like a top layer color. So we have like this kind of teal, almost blue green, and then underneath is a blue. Uh, so it's really cool because like as the board wears down, you're not going to have like another wood ply there, but you're actually going to have like a colored ply, which is just like a nice little touch. I think it looks cool as it wears down. If you've seen any of Ben DeGros videos, he definitely goes more into detail about like all the dimensions and specifics about real boards and deluxe boards. And I'll kind of get more into like how it skates and whatnot throughout this video. But yeah, another thing is this uh, kind of Roman numeral at the top here and from my understanding that just basically indicates what number it is in the stack and i don't think uh, real necessarily wants you to know that i think it's more for like their pros because pros can be a little more specific of like which board they want in the stack but yeah i'm gonna set this up i'm not gonna bore you with uh me gripping this board and setting it up because uh i mean i think most of you know what that looks like so uh yeah i'm gonna set this up i'm gonna skate this school I'm at uh, Kids Secondary School, which is a school not far from my place. And uh, there's some sweet ledges here that I want to check out today. Got a few tricks in mind, so stick around and uh, we'll do some skating. All right. Cat grab. Cool, she's slick on top of that. All right, so a bit of a backstory why I like this board so much and why it works for me. So 
a little bit of context. I'm about six foot tall and about 170 pounds and I have a size 11 foot. So a little tall for a skater and like, you know, on the not heavy side, but like I'm not light and I have a big foot. So for me having like an 838 is a good size where like I can still get technical with it. You know, it's not an 85, it's not a nine, but it still feels like a small-ish board under my feet. I mean, I grew up skating 75, 775, so, but I was a lot younger too, right? So I'm also skating on uh, 149 Indies and that's the standard hollow. So they have like the standard base plate with the hollow kingpin and axle and I'm on 52 millimeter um, Spitfire Formula 4s. It's like my perfect setup. I like the smaller wheel. I like the kind of pivot point for flip tricks. I tried a conical full. It's not really my jam but I'm loving this setup and if you guys have ever experienced this before where you skate one board and then the next board you set up is the exact same board it's like a really good feeling because it's a lot easier to like get back into the swing of things and like get back into doing the tricks you were doing on the Board, on the board previous but yeah i'm pretty warmed up now i'm gonna go skate this uh flat gap this gap it's basically just like a curb that i ollie off of and it's got like this patch of pavement uh that makes it a bit of a gap it's small but it feels cool so let's get some tricks on there start with the basics and work my way up it's like almost getting like a small set or like practice for like a small set Ah, there you go, faster. What the? What the? It's like scary to go fast, but I need to go faster to do it. What the? New board and like newish shoes is like the sketchiest combo for kickflips. I'm sure there's a good kickflip in there. And I'm sure you guys probably think like, that kickflip, that, that kickflip was fine, but to me, I'm trying to get like this one kickflip that I have in mind. I want to be able to like get a quick flick, catch it with that back foot, and just feel confident on it. And I just don't feel confident right now. So, <sighs> next one, let's get it right here. Was that it, guys? Was that the one? All right, one more trick. Switch Ollie. So we got a clean one. Wow. Take that. Well, that was a bit of a longer warm up than I would have liked, but that's just skateboarding sometimes. Tricks just take a lot longer than I had hoped for. Uh, but yeah, the real reason why I came here was actually to skate the backside of the school, which uh, has these taller ledges, which I haven't actually skated in a long time. I don't, I don't typically skate back here just because the ground's a little rougher and it just like chews up your board quicker and the ledges are just a little higher. So uh, if you guys know me and know my skating, I like low impact, easy stuff. Honestly, like the way I think about skating is like, what would I skate if I was a kid? Like that's where I'm having the most fun these days is literally just like on small obstacles. I mean, sometimes I'll jump on bigger stuff, but like really it's not that big. Anyways, let's skate these ledges, see what we can get. Needs a little bit of wax, a little love on here. These ledges are actually kind of rounded over, so they're not the best for locking grinds, but let's see what we can get. Oh no. The run up kind of sucks for this ledge. No, that. Let's move on to this next ledge. Man, it's as if like a layer of like crap on here. That's terrible wax. Let's get some good wax. Yeah, it's like a layer of like metal on here. It's worse. Need to like rub it off with something. Hopefully that does the trick. This ledge is low key scary. That's what I was afraid of. Fuck this ledge, honestly. The top is like super greasy. I'm not skating it. I'm over it. Oh, sorry to disappoint, guys. Sometimes you just gotta know when to fold them. Yeah, that ledge does not feel good right now. It's kind of like crunchy and crusty, full of like metal bits. And then the top is like super slick. And because the ground is super rough, I just don't want it to like ruin the board so quickly. Setting up a fresh board and skating this rough ground is just not what I want to do right now. So uh, yeah, sorry to disappoint, but session's over. Hope you guys got something out of this video and I hope you guys are doing well. Cause uh, yeah, I'm doing well. I'm skating, skating quite a bit, which is fun. Work's been going well too. Uh, yeah, can't complain. Summer is in full swing, finally. It's taken forever. It feels like we're like already mid July almost and, and it feels like summer's just begun anyways.
If you guys are still watching, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's it. I got to go. Got to go eat some food. Anyways, take it easy, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.